You need to look closer at that backslide. That Not only is there no H block on that skate, there's also no backside plate. That is a Rick skate doing a perfect backside on a rail by Try. You don't see that every day. What up, it's Brandon here and welcome back to Blader News, your number one rollaway news source. Once again, brought to you by Skids Grind Plates. The best thing for grinds since soap shoes. Learn more about them in the link in the description. But anyway, instead of rolling into industry news, we're going to be rolling straight into product news because damn, there are so many new products and a lot of them are new skates, which is really exciting. So anyway, yeah, product news. Before we get into all the new skates, I want to talk about a shirt that Nike just released featuring a rollerblading iguana. I think the shirt is really sick and I wouldn't mind having it, but I do encourage you all to not buy it and instead support some rollerblader owned companies. This one shirt here is probably going to make more money than all the rollerblading companies combined just from this one shirt in sales. So before you think about buying this one, go check out any other rollerblading company. There's a good video put together by Tom where he goes through all the products you should buy instead of that shirt for the same money. It's really funny and good as well. And he's a channel you should definitely subscribe to as well. So many cool videos coming out from him. I'll link to that in the description and in the corner. Now onto the skates. And first we're going to start off with them skates, of course. Recently, them has been posting some one of one them 909 skates designed by Greg. And they all feature a strip of grip tape on it. It's very impressive to see that just that one strip of grip tape can make this skate look so much more unique and really cool. It shows all the options you have for just changing something so small. And this is a mod that everyone can do at home, you know. Everyone has a skate shop near them that sells grip tape or even scooter deck tape. And there's usually so many options, you can just go down to the skate shop now and pick out like a cool color and then customize the skate. And they'll look really sick like this. Them skates just keep putting out so much cool stuff, man. It's so hard to keep up. And then everyone thought they were completely dead, including me, hearing absolutely nothing about rims ever since their last rocky launch with a skate that a lot of people couldn't skate. Over on the Platform Podcast, there was an episode featuring Rob Kellett where he quickly mentions that he's got some brand new rim skates that he's testing out for rims. He couldn't show them. We haven't seen anything yet, but there's definitely a new boot in the works, which is exciting. I'm so glad to hear that that company isn't dead yet because rims make some really cool skates, very unique, and it would be really sad to see them go. I look forward to seeing the skate actually get released. Fingers crossed it's a Rob Kellett Pro Skate because man, he deserves it. And then we got another collab boot, but this time for Inline Warehouse for an M12. It comes in this sick black and yellow colorway. One of the only Rossi skates around that has a different colored cuff, which is unique other than the Loco one, of course, which is definitely sold out. If you like this one, definitely go grab it before it's gone. I'm sure it won't last, so I'll have it linked in the description down below. And then we got a quick update about niche skates. They're starting molds next month which is very exciting. They also clarified that the cuffs won't be riveted on and they'll be featuring a different buckle in the final product. Now these are the skates that got a lot of flack for looking a lot like them skates. And I definitely see that, but when you look at the details on them, it's pretty hard to say why they look like them skates. You know, all the like little details are very different. And the sole plate in these looks very promising. That backside plate looks so nice and forgiving. And if there's one thing I can always complain about for the them skates, it's that little hard mode soul play i swear so i'm excited for these skates and i can't wait to see more more skate options are so good and look at this option he made this is pictures already been released but this looks so cool with the like the white swish you know looks really cool i'm excited for these and then we got the absolutely huge news that there was a new product distributor in europe called dis royale and it's not really new it's actually a returning og brand originally founded as a daughter company of PowerSlide in 1996. But today it is back 100% independent from PowerSlide and it's completely run by skaters for skaters. The first company they announced that they're going to be distributing is Gods. And now if you go to the Gods section of this Royale's website, you'll see them teasing a pro skate for Tim Franken. There's no pictures of it yet, there's only a price point. So definitely subscribe so I can show you what it looks like when they release it. But that's super exciting, new skates are always good. And that's not all we have coming from this brand. That Because of this brand, this product section is absolutely huge. Because Dis Royale has so many new products. So let's, let's keep going. Dis Royale also launched its own brand called Icons Brand. Now this is an urban focused brand that also has some aggressive skates and parts. On launch, they've teased like six skates or so. I'm not going to show them all yet because none of them have actually been released. There's no pictures of them. There's just the picture of the silhouette. And there's too many to go through. I'll talk about them again once they're actually released. One of them is definitely an aggressive skate though. I'll link to the whole set so you can look at it yourself. Uh, it's all really exciting. I will talk about products they actually have released. And the first one is the Decode Frame, which is a complete all-in-one frame, which is really impressive. Not only does it fit every mount possible, but it can be 
every setup possible, including an aggressive skate. It goes everything from a tri setup to an aggressive setup with an H block. It's a very impressive design with so many variables that you can change. It really can do anything and it's a really solid product to launch with. Alongside that frame, they also have the Deco Gold bearings. And these bearings are actually unique coming in a new form factor. The middle of the bearing actually sticks out to replace the need for those little spaces in your frames and to reduce friction. Now you might be worried that these bearings won't be compatible with any other kind of frames out there, but they thought of that and if you put them the other way around, they come with a smaller spacer so that they still work for normal wheels, regardless of whether you get their wheels or their frames. Speaking of wheels, they also have a bunch of wheels in a time where the world is in short supply. They range from 55 mil to 125 mil. So like literally everything you're ever gonna need. And to top all of that off, they are coming in with a really strong team. And the members of the team are Montre Livingstone, Mina Lee, B Free, Catherine Rise, Sasha Lopez and Chad Hornish, which is such a solid team. And you know, if a brand's got a good team behind them, they're gonna be a good brand. You know, they wouldn't be able to get anyone on the team unless they're doing something good. This whole Disrael thing is so exciting and I can't wait to see more from them. There's still so much coming out, you know. It's very early days. And then I wanna talk about a company that I've been meaning to talk about for so long now because they're doing something really cool and that is Fruit Tech Hardware. Now the main thing this company does is not only have this really cool logo, but they also supply aftermarket hardware for all skates. You go on the website, you choose the skate you have, and they'll send you a package with all the pieces you'll need to upgrade the hardware on your skates. And as someone who's skating Aeons, which have the absolute worst hardware in the world, this company is really cool to learn about. Another really cool thing this brand is doing that I want to mention is their Sprout Initiative. And this is where they're supporting young bladers, putting them on the team, and giving them stuff, and helping them out, which is really cool. But the reason we're talking about them here today is they have a new product, and it is their own bearings. Everything they're doing seems really cool. Definitely check them out. They'll be linked in the description. And then for our final piece of product news, we got a hardcover 200 page rollerblading book from the dudes in Russia. And don't worry, the book isn't in Russian. It's been translated to English. And the book just covers a two week skating trip across Russia that a bunch of dudes in different cities got together to make. Russia has some crazy skaters and it's cool to see a crazy product like this come out. I haven't seen a hardcover book for blading ever, I don't think, but you know, I tend to forget about things. Even though I cover product news, I tend to forget about everything. But yeah, definitely check this out. It'll be linked in the description. And that's it for product news. Let's move on to my favorite part of the show, media, you should check out. Once again, I'm gonna remind you that I wanna get your stuff on the show. The only way for you to get your edits and stuff onto the show is to post it on the Blader News subreddit. You don't have to know Reddit, everyone is welcome. You can't post anything wrong. I'll be so happy to have you there. It'll be linked in the description. Go and post your stuff, upvote the other people's stuff that you like. And it'll help me out a bunch. And I'll see you over there. For this week's most upvoted post, we had another Them Tuesdays Jam by Nolan, which is another absolutely amazing edit that'll get you pumped. Just a really great like team chill out skate park session with so many ridiculous tricks, like from the start to the end. It has a uh, Julio collab like it always does. He's got a little clip in there, which is insane. Uh, this one will definitely get you pumped, especially if you can skate in a group, unlike me. And then the local young killer Kane posted his one for 100 edit, which is that competition that Twib is hosting right now that you definitely need to post your submissions for. You can win $100. Definitely do that. But anyway, Kane's edit here is really cool. He's skating some spots in my local city here that I would never go near because they're so busy. And it's a really good edit, especially for one of his first edits. Definitely check this one out. And Biz, you should definitely pick him for the $100 winner. You have to do it, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm pulling that card, you know, choose Kane. And then we got an amazing full part from Yondrial called Magnetician. This part has a very unique vibe. It's very slow pace and very like arts-like, I guess I could say. <laughs> it's got the usual ridiculously tech tricks that come from Yondrial. The whole entire thing really impressed me, but I was completely blown away by the mid-spin kind grind in there that he's doing while he's getting kicked out. I just don't understand how anyone can like land a trick as hard as that under that much pressure. Very impressive. This one will get you pumped. Check it out. And then we got a bit of a throwback to Dominic Wagner being introduced to the ADAPT team. One of the people that joined me live for going through submissions told me about this edit that I definitely missed. It's filmed beautifully and it features some ridiculous bowl skating and it's just a really, really good watch. And yeah, I wanted to mention it. It should have way more views than it does. Definitely check this one out. It'll get you so pumped. You'll be going to skate bowl even if you hate skating bowl. There's a reason they gave this guy the opener for Blader News in a previous episode, and it's because he's a ridiculously good skating. He posted a full edit in the subreddit, and the whole thing blows my mind. There's just so many like ridiculous spin tricks. 
like stuff that shouldn't be possible without like a launch. I thoroughly enjoyed this one. You will too. Definitely check it out. And finally, we got Age Just a Number 2, which is a sequel to Age is Just a Number, obviously. <laughs> Ian here is proving that you're never too old to skate really crazy big tricks never too old this whole thing is filled with hammers it's an eight minute edit and it is filled with hammers trust me all these spots are so crazy and there's some really solid tricks in there the end of bales look so painful i was very impressed to see him roll away from the last gap because man i would be so done after one of those falls definitely check this one out as well as everything else it will all be linked in the description because that is it for media and that is it for Blader News this fortnight. If you've been paying attention to me, you'll notice that I've been going live once a week recently. If you want to help me out, you should consider becoming a member by hitting that join button next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get to flex some people in chat with some exclusive emotes as well as a badge next to your name. It would really help me out, especially because me watching all your guys' submissions on Blader News always gets the video demonetized because there's copyright music. But of course, as always, subscribing helps just as much as well as hitting that like button. I want to give a huge thank you to my Blade News correspondents, Matt, Sonic Sports, Sweet Moves, and James, as well as the rest of my patrons and members. And of course, you for watching, especially if you're making it through this horrible end screen. And now we're going to end it with a sick back unit. It's actually a three-piece post, but you're going to have to click the link to watch the other two pieces. It's worth it. Definitely check them out, okay? Peace out.